you know, it's like right when everything starts going well for me, it like, life just takes a hot steamy shit on me. Welcome back, it's my, I don't wanna do this intro. I'm gonna get coffee, so maybe we'll just get some coffee, get that blood flowing, and I'll be good to go. Hi, can I have a medium iced coffee? What kind? Um, just black. <sighs> it's my birthday. Um, it's my 27th birthday. Feels like any other day, kinda. Minus like the fact that like my whole entire family has called me. Kind of a headache. I was so tired today. I like had plans last night that I was like, this whole day is gonna be about me, and I'm gonna go on a hike and I'm gonna take my brother's dog and I like woke up early and I was like oh, no that's not gonna happen anymore um I really miss my brother's dog though so what I'm going to do today is just hang out and read and just literally do whatever I want and just like spend the day relaxing by myself and then tonight my brother is taking me to dinner so I have a lot to talk about um, a lot has been going on, and hang on one second, I have to pay. Well, anyway, a lot of you guys have been asking for an update on Wizard after I was seen crying in my car about him. Um, the thing is, it's, it's, is this in the way? It's really hard to answer everybody. Uh, sorry, my hand. Oh my god, I just like went up on the curb. If I get a flat tire, I will f fucking seriously kill myself. Can't have any more bad luck. Like, I'm not even joking. Anyway. Um, it's really hard to answer everybody. Um, because I don't just have people commenting on the video. You know, I have you asking on Twitter, on Instagram, like, you know, like everywhere. The thing is, I address it in my podcast. So... Um, just make sure you're following me on all social media platforms because depending like the next day I think I it was the next day or something where I did a full update on snapchat so it's just easier to just address everybody in at one in one platform um, the update was that he was fine because he um, was acting fine again and, you know, was eating wet food and uh, this and that. Um, but over time, and this is what I haven't told anybody just because I didn't have any of the answers and I just don't think I could have handled, like, having everybody just keep asking how he was when I didn't know. Um, I was just was watching him closely over the last couple weeks, you know, even though the vet was like, he's fine, I don't find any infection or anything like that, um, he just, I don't know, you know your cat, he was, didn't seem in pain, he was happy, he was playful, he was hungry, like, a, no, a regular person would have been like, I see no reason why you should be worried about this cat. But I know my cat and just like I know his behaviors and what's normal and what's not and there were little things and he's a big guy, a big dude, I keep calling him a big dude. <laughs> and he was just like losing muscle mass and I could tell and a normal person would see and say that this is a normal sized cat. But I'm like I know what's normal for him and he's big. Like he's just always been like that. He's naturally big, not fat, like he's a little chubby, but like not by dangerous amounts. He's just like a big dude. He's a thick daddy is what people would call him and that's true. Um, there's little things like that. So I was stressing out about that. I took him in, long story short, Wizard has diabetes. Um, so that's what's been going on with him. And uh, you know, I think, I think when he was not feeling well, I think it was as a result of that, and that's why they couldn't really find an infection or anything, because his blood work looks great otherwise. I mean, as far as diabetes go, he's otherwise healthy. Um, like, it's not advanced, he doesn't have ketosis, or I don't know what the whole thing is. I, I've done so much research, and I have have so many words, I just don't know what they all mean. But like, um, if that makes any sense. Uh, is this still recording? Good. 
Um, so I need to start him on insulin therapy tomorrow. Uh, I take him back into the vet to get on insulin and um, hopefully that all will go well and he can get regulated and go on to live a long, healthy, normal life. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's stressful, of course. It's gonna be life-changing for the both of us um, because I have to give him insulin twice a day. But um, I talked to a friend of mine who has had a diabetic cat for the past six years on insulin and that made me feel a lot better just knowing that it's like totally doable and like, he can be fine. It's just, you know, like, it's actually not unlike a human getting diabetes. Um, it's all the same kind of shit. <clears throat> so, just excited for him to go to the vet tomorrow, get his insulin, start feeling better. And therefore, I can feel better. Um, but that's not the only thing. So, if you guys listen to my podcast, mine and Haley's podcast, Friday Night In, and maybe you're new. I know I did get a lot of sub new subscribers recently, in which case, welcome. Um, and look, check out my podcast. <laughs> um, so yeah, for those of you who do listen, thank you so much. I love you. Um, like, a lot. And, um, you know, we didn't do a podcast last week. Uh, I think I'm uploading this on Monday. So right now it's Sunday, it's my birthday. By the time you see this, it'll be Monday. Um, the day after. So we didn't do a podcast on Friday, we do it every Friday, and um, I was really upset about that, but I just couldn't do it. And because, unfortunately, Wizard being diagnosed with diabetes was just the very, what's going on? Was just the very tip of the iceberg. You guys, you know, if you watched my Glossier tutorial, you know that like I woke up one day and my car was just towed for outstanding parking tickets. I know that's my fault. This is LA is notorious for preying on people um, for like the dumbest shit, like street cleaning. Uh, and every street is different days. It's just like I live here, you know. So it's just like it's not just like I'm cruising through and. You know, I get a parking ticket here and there. It's like I live here. I have to, like, my car is here all the time. What the fuck are you doing, you fucking idiot? I have the right of way. This fucking Anthony Weiner looking ass. <laughs> Anywho, um, anyway, but yeah, so it's like I know it's my fault. However, it's like they, they do it on purpose. They prey on people that don't have a driveway because only rich people have driveways. What did I just say? Drive waves. <laughs> anyway so yeah I had that whole thing that was devastating because you know it's like right when everything starts going well for me it like life just takes a hot steamy shit on me just like right on my chest and it just kept happening over and over and that's just how it goes it's like and it's my birthday I swear I don't like to like make a big deal about my birthday because it never is like great like like, I have amazing people in my life that try and make it wonderful, but I, I'm just saying, like, in terms of, like, luck, and I don't really know if I believe in that, but, like, it seems real because this time last year, I got in a fucking car accident and totaled my car, and, like, that was a whole nightmare. I had a concussion on my birthday. So, like, this year, then all this other shit's happening. So, my car got towed. I finally get it back. Literally two days later, this car broke down in the middle of the road. Fucking A, you motherfucker. My, ca my camera overheated. Everyone always asks me what kind of camera I use. It's a Sony NAX 5R and it overheats and it's a piece of shit. So if you want to get it, <laughs> I hate it and I can't afford a new one. As I was saying, so my car broke down in the middle of the street, the road, as I was, the day I was supposed to take Wizard to the vet to be tested for diabetes. So that was fun. Um, so several hundred dollars later, I got my car back. Um, then, then I got news that um, somebody that I was friends with in high school died. Um, and that was weird and sad. 
and I wasn't like I don't I'll be totally honest because I feel like a lot of the times someone loses somebody like an old friend or something or somebody they vaguely knew and they like feign sadness to get like attention or something like I don't know I have like a weird thing where like I see that so much on Facebook where they're like always remember the good times it's like did you know this person like I feel like you're just trying to be like I knew this guy who died and just like I did know him we were really close friends for a couple years in high school but I hadn't known him or talked to him in over 10 years so I wasn't really sad because I feel like I didn't know him anymore but it was weird I mean, I was sad for him, and I was sad for his family, of course, but I wasn't sad for me, um, if that makes sense. It was just mostly, like, like rocked my, like, day, and, like, for a couple days. It just kind of was, like, <sighs> it just made me feel weird inside, like, kind of just, like, ominous, and, like, just that, you know oh, this person that you once knew really well is, like, dead, and anybody could die, and, like, we're all gonna die, and, like, that's just kind of how it, it, it felt, so it was just, like, kind of, everything was just kind of snowballing, and I just felt defeated and weird, and so I didn't film, I had a lot, or film, we didn't record our podcast, and that's kind of why, um, because I just had so much going on. Like, literally, I was still going to do it. I had, um, uh, the vet appointment planned that evening, and then when I got back, we were gonna record the podcast, and then it's like I had to push his appointment for the next day, because then my car broke down, and then all this other shit, and I was just like, look, I, I can't, like, turn it off and on right now you know what I mean like I was just like I was crying all day like I was just so stressed like it's just like one of those days where everything just kind of catches up to you and I just like broke down and I was just like uh yeah I can't really turn it on and be like welcome to Friday Night In let's joke around and talk about our crushes because I was just like my life's falling apart um <laughs> so yeah um but I'm feeling better now I got my car back um and, you know, wizard, we know what's wrong and he's going to be okay. But, um, yeah, it was just, everything just, like, snowballed. And I just had to spend, like, a ton of money. And, like, you know, a lot of times it's, like, accidents happen, things like this happen. Um, but usually they're kind of, like, spaced out. It was just, like, all of a sudden, like, everything just happened at once. And it was just overwhelming. And I just feel like things like that happen for me that way. Like, it's it's always just all at once. Like, it's not just like, oh, this month, you know, wizard, unexpected medical bills, and and then, like, you know, six months later, my car breaks out. It's like, no, it all happened in one month. And I'm just like, okay. Um, you know, I quit my job earlier this year to pursue YouTube and the podcast and everything full time and I've been really happy but it's been really scary because I don't have that like guaranteed paycheck um and everything's been working out and I'm like okay I'm starting to like everything's taking a turn and then it's just like the world just like dumps on me and I'm just like oh well so much for trying <laughs> you know I make jokes but I pick myself back up and everything's fine and it's gonna be good I just hope that like the rest of the year it means like I have just nothing but good luck. <laughs> so I want to thank you guys so much for ordering from Glossier um, with my link. You guys have been so supportive of me and I hope you're getting some like cool makeup and skincare out of it. Um, but it really, it means a lot to me and it was definitely really helpful um, during this month where I had to spend so much money. Um, just an FYI, if I know the 20% link only works for a first time customer, but if you're a repeat customer, you can still use my link. I would still get credit from it, even though you wouldn't get the 20% off. Um, so just putting that out there, no pressure, obviously, but, um, you know, if you want to just continue to support me when you buy Glossier, you can still do that. I don't know if that was clear. No pressure! <laughs> no, but, um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. I mean, you guys have been a dream. I know a lot of you are new, 
and I'm so excited to have you and I hope you are too um, but I just yeah I just want to thank you guys because it's it's honestly I know a lot of the times I mean I see I've never experienced it myself but I know people get a lot of flack for doing sponsored videos or for doing affiliate links or you know just even for getting ad revenue like out of which I don't know how you could get mad about that but just you know all of that stuff and it's like I understand that like you know this is all fairly new to us still but like that YouTube and what I'm doing and what everybody else is doing on YouTube could be a, a legitimate career but it is you know um, I I just hope that like I mean who knows if some people are just doing it for the money I don't know but I just feel like you know there are so many other things I could do to make money. It's just, just like this is what I want to do, and this is what I am passionate about. And um, some people just get so much flack for it, um, you know, for for doing a sponsored video or for doing this or for doing that. But the thing is, is like, you know, in a creative industry, why would you work for free? I don't know. That's just how I feel. It's just like, why would you get mad about somebody doing? getting paid to do something because it's like we're all watching it we're all entertained by it it's like you would never expect to turn on cable and watch a tv show and not see commercials you know what i mean it's like these people deserve to get paid and i deserve to get paid and every, anybody else um you know online doing anything creative and it's um it's hard so i always i, I want to thank you guys so much for just never making me feel guilty or like a sellout for doing like a sponsored video or for you know working with glossier or anything like that because the money is never what's most important to me of course money is important like that is literally how i put a roof over my head but you know i get so many offers to do sponsored videos with companies or products that I just don't believe in and I ignore them. I think I should, I guess the nice thing to do would to be like, no thank you, but I just, I'll be honest, I ignore them <laughs> if it's not um, something that I'm into. But I, I mean, look, I mean, I could make every other video sponsored if I wanted to, but it's just, you know, my the most important thing to me is to stay true to myself and, and to stay true for you guys and say true for you guys you know what I'm trying to get at is to just be authentic that's my most important is to do what I love and to do it in an authentic way and to not to me selling out would be to do something just for the money and to just be like hello um I like this coffee link below and it's just like you know I always try oh I keep getting it's weird when it's your birthday you just get texts from people you like never talk to um so I always, I never want to be lazy about it and I always want it to be something that I enjoy and that I think you guys will um, benefit from and and I still want to make it an entertaining video that's very much me and what you guys are used to seeing and do something fun for you guys. Um, so that's always my, my uh, the most important thing. So I want you guys to know that and I just want to say thank you. Um, for always just being supportive. It's so cool. I know a lot of people don't get the same on YouTube You know, they get attacked for doing affiliate links or for doing sponsor videos and they're like You're always just shoving this down my throat. It's like watching an ad, but it's like that's how you get paid to do this You know, it's like if you don't want me to do videos and it's like I'll get I'll go get a full-time job And I just won't be able to do this, you know, but um But yeah, you guys have been so cool So I appreciate it and I promise to always be honest with you in return. Um, but yeah, it's been a tough, I'm sorry this, especially for the people who just subscribed because they're like, oh, she's funny and quirky. And then there's this like kind of serious video, but it's just like, um, it's everything's been kind of serious lately. That's just where I'm at. I just keep thinking like, Oh, this part of my life, this is what's, what is building your character, and it's building texture, it's, it's creating texture, you know, and I'm just like, okay, but I'm ready to not do that anymore. <laughs> I just want to be successful in what I do, but yeah, it's, it's hard not to get overwhelmed, but 
I also am just really grateful and fortunate and grateful to you guys who, for whatever reason, found me on the internet and liked me and liked what I'm putting out there and, oh, this is getting sappy, but it's true. That's how I feel. It feels really good. Um, so I hope to continue to do that for you and on an even greater scale. Hey guys, I am back and sorry the lighting sucks. My apartment is just like, my apartment is lighter than it looks right now, but like my camera sucks and I would have bought a new one, but my cat has diabetes now, so, oh, and my car broke down. I hate my camera. Anyway, um... So it's now 7.19, I'm waiting for my brother to pick me up for dinner. He'll be here in about, well he said he'll be here in 10 minutes, but he's always at least 20 minutes late, so could really be at any time. Um, but I had just a super relaxing day. I'm sorry if this vlog is just kind of boring. I hope you're just relaxing, like I picture you just relaxing in bed, not really wanting to watch anything that gets your blood boiling or that kind of, uh, not that I feel like my videos get anybody's blood boiling unless they're like, um, you know, somebody who says like all lives matter or that like, where's the women national men's day or something, then maybe your blood boils when you watch my videos. But other than that, I don't know what I meant by it. I guess I meant, I hope you're just relaxing in bed or on the couch after a long day and you just wanted to watch something that you just... Just something blah, you know what I mean? Not that I'm blah. How do I put this? I've been reading this. I'm about halfway through. This is called You'll Grow Out of It by Jessie Klein. She's a comedy writer and um, she's funny and cool. And um, I would say this book isn't like laugh out loud funny, but it's like smart funny and like cool girl funny, um, if that makes sense. And it's basically just like a tale of her life, um, you know, just kind of always liking the weird, sloppy, insecure, goofy guys and, um, and how they end up like kind of destroying your self-esteem somehow and your life. And I can't relate to that at all. <laughs> I like reading about myself. I mean, <laughs> Jesse. Um, I'm starving. I purposely like haven't eaten in a few hours because I was like hungry a few hours ago. But I was like, oh, that's maybe cutting it a little close. I don't want to ruin my appetite. Now it's now I'm starving. I've crossed the threshold of being hungry to being starving, and my brother better get here soon. Because uh, really, you know, this dinner's on him and really he's only just making it more expensive because the hungrier I get, the more I'm going to order. So therefore, you know, setting yourself up. You know what I like? When you have somebody that you can like be completely silent with, like alone togetherness. Do you know what I mean? Where it's like, we don't feel the pressure to have to be on all the time or entertain each other but we can like be in each other's company and be alone also i love that i truly value that in a friendship someone where you can have alone togetherness with like if you're hanging out with a friend and you guys haven't spoken in 10 minutes and there's an awkward tension in the air, you're not as close as you thought you were. Look who's here! <gasps> Freddy! Sit! Where are we going? Oh, across? Oh my god, Matt! Oh my god, Matt! He's so strong! Oh my god! He almost pulled me over. You're fucking crazy. I should just title this vlog. This vlog has a dog. Just sit anywhere? Yeah. Wanna sit down here? Yeah. Pretty sit. Can I have dinner to some wine or? Uh dinner, dinner? yeah. Great. Happy oh. birthday. <laughs> Sorry, I was you. Happy oh, I didn't make it. Oh no. Almost. Oh, it went out. It's 
It's okay. I brought the lighter just in when case. Did, oh, when you went to the bathroom, I was like, what did you call a head? Oh, oh wait, here, here just quickly, I'll blow it up. <laughs> there we go. There's like a direct breeze right here. Yay. Thank you so Happy much. Happy birthday. Aww. Hey. Eddie, no. Who? Yeah, no. You're not 25? 26? I'm 27. You're 27? I'm 27 today. Jesus. Okay. It's the next morning. And I had a fun birthday. It was low key. It was fun. It was just what I wanted. Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> so it's currently 9.30 and I'm taking Wizard to the vet in about 20 minutes. Um, they're gonna like show me how to do it and all that jazz. Go, go in your, go in your little spot. Come on, no, come on, we gotta go. Come on, go in. Good boy. You're so good. In there, all right, say bye to maybe. We'll be back. Hey bud. Yeah. You're so good, I know. We've had to go a lot lately. I'm gonna have the doctor check it out anyway. Okay. okay. Have you been doing more compresses? Yeah, I think you guys were able to clean them before. So, yeah, yeah, and so I mean, I cleaned them as much as I can. Okay. Did you have to do it? Okay, cool. How many times a day? Probably more than one. I've been cleaning it. Hey, bud. You remember this place? Hey. Okay. Back in the car, going home. God. As you can tell I'm driving because the camera's sliding all around. Um, is it recording? I don't even know. Yeah. Okay, so this vlog is gonna be like 10,000 years old. I don't know. But uh, we're back in the car, we're going home. Wizard's got his insulin dose that I'm supposed to give him. I have to order it. Um, and so I know what to do. I know how to give him his dose and how much to give him and blah, 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 blah. And he's going to be okay. So I will keep you guys posted on his recovery to a healthy diabetic cat on his Instagram, if anybody cares to follow along. That is where I'll update it so this doesn't turn into like the wizard vlog ch channel. Although, maybe some of you guys would like that, but I, one thing at a time here. Um, so, hi, I know, we're going home. He was not as excited to be there this time, uh, but he did so good. He's honestly the most well-behaved cat in public. I mean, he's annoying sometimes, but like, he's just, he loves everybody and everything, but he was just like, okay, enough already with this, these trips. Like, people keep poking me with shit. Um, but he didn't care. They injected him with saline just to like, show me how to do it. Um, and he fucking purred the whole time. He was just like, this is fine. What are you doing? I don't even know. You're just petting me and giving me attention. I love it. So, um, but yeah, he was not stoked to be at the vet this time. He was like, I've had it, I'm sick of it. So, thankfully, we won't have to bring him back for a while, do everything at home, and he'll be on his way to getting better. Um, so thank you guys for all your concern. It really means so much to me. And oh, is this even on me? I'm so sorry. All right, I'm gonna, I need to end this vlog. I need to end this vlog and um, yeah, so I'm just gonna do it. Thank you guys so much. Of course, don't forget to subscribe, um, like this video, you know, wish, wish Wizard a healthy recovery to a healthy diabetic by giving this video a thumbs up. Follow him on Instagram, the official wizard. Follow me on Instagram, just cause like, what? I mean, imagine if you just followed my cat, but not me. How rude. Um, and Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, please. I love Twitter. Um, okay. See you next time. Mm -hmm.